Well, folks, it's always fun solving holidays, like Valentine's Day. We just did that. Holiday equals Jesus equals um, God's Son. You know, in or holiday is such an easy word. Um, okay, it's such a glorious word. It's got I am great. Okay, in this direction, and then it's got. Um, oh, excuse me. Yeah, I am great in that direction. Then it's got um, God's Son in the other direction. So holiday equals Jesus. Um, going backwards, it's great I am. Going forwards, it's uh, Son God. Okay. Um, that was awesome. Solving Valentine's Day. Oh man, Valentine's Day is loaded. Like. The VA at the front equals I am. The AY at the back equals God. So you have this I am God bookending in Valentine's Day. Then you have great in the in the inset. Smoking hot. This this is like the smoking hottest set of letters I've seen since the last set of smoking hot letters. Lent Va Lent Eins Day. You gotta slice this thing with the sword, like the Bible tells us to slice the truth with the sword. This is nuts. Like this is so nutsy perfect. Valentine's Day now, so I am God. Now the center is great, great. You have I am great, great God. <laughs> Bang! That was the new revelation on Valentine's Day. Okay? Make your slice at VA. Make your slice at A-Y. That's I am God. What's left in the middle is great, great. Need I say more? Need I say less? That was flawless. Um, stunning. Okay. And then, remember the climax? Valentine's Day. Okay. Like a couple having sex. Okay. Sexual climax. And a new eternal soul is created. And God's singing his head off day and night as the kingdom of heaven is propagating like wildfire. Valentine's Day. Okay, and we talked about love is at the bookend. Valentine's Day is like the most loaded set of letters of all times. It equals Jesus Christ, equals I am great, equals I am love. Uh, I am God. The bookend's great, great in the center. Um, Father was pointed to by the center. Love was on both sides in five letters apiece. It was like the smoking hottest. Now you know why. Like, just pay attention to the obvious. Like, why are there thousands of people creating handcrafted cards that are filling the bookshelves and all over the stores that all say the same thing in a, in a billion different artistic renditions, reds and pinks and silvers and gold. Now there's glitter and they're made by the company Papyrus, which is father, father, double. It's because God is sovereign, and he's glorifying his personal names through this name that he loves called Valentine's Day. I testify by the living God. The Holy Trinity dreamed, they dreamed of the letters Valentine's Day before they were ever even close to being given to man. And they, the three of them, have been prospering that string of letters for the past uh, several hundred years. Okay, and until now, you can't even walk into a store anywhere within one or two weeks of February the 14th. And there's loot screaming out at you from every corner, like hearts. God is love, so, but Val I have noticed, like just pay attention to the obvious of what God is doing. Have you noticed that Valentine's Day has become earlier and earlier and earlier in its preparation and celebration um, in, on the market stage? Stores go pink and hardy like three weeks in advance, like practically like January 15th. They're bringing in the cards. They're bringing in the reds. They're bringing in the flowers. They're making sure roses are on tap. They're making sure chocolates are on tap. They're making sure, ideally, they're making sure like Bibles are on tap and people are actually seeking God and worshiping Jesus Christ. Um, it's, it's just from the Lord, okay? So Valentine's Day. I am, this, this is awesome, Valentine's Day, I am great, great God, and no one can tell me otherwise. Don, it's just like, until you start talking about God, your life is nothing. It is nothing. It is just like, you've missed the entire show. You've missed the entire verbiage that you were born for. Valentine's Day, I am great, great God. Remember, Gematria equals great I am, okay? Uh, 
you know, using the same letters. This is gematria. That's what the science is called. Science equals father. But valent is I am great. That equals gematria. That equals great I am. That equals Jesus. Okay. And then remember the rest equals Christ. But when you, when you slow down like we did and we, we allowed God to reveal to us more glory, uh, now we're really, we're, we're just going higher on the set of letters. Valentine's Day, in order, I am great, great God. And there are several million new babies that will be produced on this very night of February 14th. Several million, okay? More than many other days of the year. Couples will have sex with each other tonight for the eternal kingdom of God, producing new eternal lives that will be forever with God in heaven and bringing him pleasure. That is the dream of God. Like Valentine's Day is a big part of the dream of God. So I'm proud to declare these um, revelations from the Lord on behalf of the human race. It's uh, February 14th, Wednesday, 11, 27 a.m. You still got time to get out there, gentlemen, and buy your flowers, um, buy your loot, get your stuff, uh, buy your books, buy, buy your whatever you can, whatever she wants, and uh, go nuts. Just, just go nuts. You still have time. The day is young. It's before noon. Bye, bye, bye. Get the stacks and disperse it. Okay. Um, there you go. Um, no, seriously. That, this, I love Revelation. It just... Um, and, uh, you know, I, I remember doing Valentine's in elementary school, and it was hilarious. And it was like spine tingling, and you're like, oh... So that's how many girls like me. You're just like creepy, and then the girls are like, "Oh my gosh!" There's all bunch of guys that actually secretly like me. Anyways, it was fun. Um, okay, so that was highly disturbingly awesome. Valentine's Day equals I am great, great God. It's like the, one of the hottest sets of letters ever. Um, Valentine's Day, climax, okay? The word climax, Valentine's Day, okay? Orgasm, okay? God, God. So always go to the center. You go to the center of words, okay? For like the climax. Um, center of Valentine's Day gives you the father, points to father, just like the word kiss. Remember, kiss equals father, and it's the dead center of kiss equals dead center of father. So... The word climax, climax, Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day, climax, climax, okay? And we're talking about sex, okay? We're talking about sexual climax, which is obviously when the new souls get created. It's like sperm meets egg, and the rest is, you know, history unfolding, new souls and all this. Um, but there it is, <sighs> Valentine's Day. Love at the front, love at the back. Two loves together with the climax in the middle. We talked about that. Okay, love at the front, love at the back with the climax at the center, which points to Father, the name above all names, and Valentine's Day. Uh, it really, when you, when you do the math properly on it, and it's preached properly on, it makes people want to have sex. It makes you, the very math and the very symmetry and what the math declares is sex. Like, two people having sexual intercourse, experiencing climax together, that is perfectly, perfectly, maximally presented in the letters of Valentine's Day, as we've discussed until now, okay? There you go. There you go. God doing everything uh, to advance his kingdom and build his family, more kids like crazy, and it's just hilarious. All right, we, we did a good job on that one. Okay, more stuff, um, more words. We've been solving country names and uh, pretty, pretty awesome.